I was born in 1991 and I was born blind. I, I had some light perception and I was born to a single mother with two other siblings uh, from a humble background in Sedland. And so I was the last one, so my, I got attention because uh, of my problem with sight and I went to many hospitals, uh, some of which we could not afford. Uh, my condition would not be rectified, but the little light perception I had, I was taken to just no hospitals. Where I would do nothing, I would just sit down, sit maybe near a window and write. And I managed to learn up to class two. And then I got admitted to Kenyatta National Hospital. I think that was back in 1999. And then from Kenyatta, they advised that I be taken to a school for the blind. So the nearest option was Kilimani. But Kilimani was an integrated school where uh, you learn in a class together with sighted students. Uh, so I went to Kilimani and started all over again in Nasari because I had to do break. And then I had to commute every day from uh, separate to Kilimani. So although it was, I was, I managed to do great and to start my class one in 2001, I would fail to attend school most of the times. And uh, this is due to maybe sometimes lack of transport, and sometimes there were rains, maybe I would get into pools, and so on. So around 2002, I used to live in a neighborhood where sometimes I could interact with kids, but they were not okay because I couldn't see them, and it was not the risk that they couldn't understand. So sometimes I would, be, I would feel the world went out, I would get discouraged. But somehow I met friends who used to live in the street lives, but now they accepted me the way I was, and they were happy for me, they could love me, and take me to places, and we would play together, and so on. And that's how I came to know the money, uh, because uh, maybe those kids that were well off did not have time for me, but those from the humble backgrounds uh, had time for me so we could find ourselves there. So I was introduced to Bully, and uh, that is where I met a couple of people. I met Father Kizito, I met Joe Marco there, and they tried to take me to a hospital to see whether I could regain my sight, but still it was impossible. So the only option was for me to go to a special school. So I left the day school in Kilimani, that was in 2004. Went to a boarding school in Mary, and that was a Catholic school. And that's where I learned. I passed my KCTE, and then I went to Pika High School for the library, did my Form 4 exams. The exam was pretty similar, they very, the same exams that any other student did. And then I also qualified to get into the university, and by good luck, I went to the University of Nairobi, and still Koinonia helped me through the university. I undertook my bachelor's degree in political science and public administration, which I graduated last year uh, with the second half uh, second class of admission. At the same time being exposed to education, you know most of the times, or all the times, educating a child with special needs is much more expensive than a sighted kid or a kid without disability. This is because the assistive devices we use, the, we don't use books, we use brain. A brain machine goes for 85000 then you go for print book, that is the equivalent of a brain machine. So many people will shy off from taking such a person to school because it's too expensive. 
but I think I got the best help and the right help such that I was able to discover many things about myself. Not only education, when I was in high school, I discovered my leadership as skills. I was a, yeah, I was a prefect from form one to form four. And then from there, when we got into the university, immediately we mobilized ourselves as students with disabilities because we were in order to put within the campus. So we formed an association. And then I was made the first chair. And from there, I just finished the university. And uh, the Blind Fraternity has a society that has been working for them. So the Kenya Society for the Blind is the mother organization of all blind persons in Kenya. It was established in 1956 by an act of parliament as a statutory charitable and governmental organization. So it's Kenya Society for the Blind that identified the money then in 99 for me. So automatically I was a member from them. So when I finished 2012, I volunteered there. Uh, I gave my time to help others who are like me. And you see, the problem with sight is that for any disability, today you don't have a disability, tomorrow you might wake up with it. It's an open memory. So many people lose their sight when they are old. So I was always there to help them to volunteer in 2013. 2018. And when I finished campus, uh, because our society is a membership society, and those people who serve in the council, because the, the society is uh, has various structures of uh, governance, uh, the council is the highest one. So the council is like the board. So and since it's government, the members elect the council members. So this year we had our AGM that it was elected to the Kenyan Society for the Blind Council. And uh, in that council, we went for our first meeting in August 29th. Then they decided to elect the youngest of their own to be the chairperson uh, who was me at two And I'm just saying this to show that if uh, maybe Koinonia didn't have confidence in me, I would not get to where I am. And I would not be of help, of help to others, other blind people, to where I am today. So, I think I'll finish there. But I would like to also invite you tomorrow for the public awareness campaign that I've started as the new chairman of the society. It's called the Fungua Macho campaign. One, we are telling Kenyans to open their eyes, but uh, the Ministry of Health has told us that 10 million Kenyans would go blind any day. So we've taken the initiative to create that awareness and ask Kenyans to come out and get eye checkups. So tomorrow we'll be at Nuraro Primary School to do a free medical eye checkup and where we will launch the campaign alongside the PS Ministry of Health and the area health. So I invite all of you. And with those few remarks, thank you very much.